many trains open this weekend in Sacramento. The Thunder Mountain Modular Railroad Club created this 24 by 32 foot display at the Sacramento Railroad Museum. The club has more than two dozen members and all of them spent thousands of hours building the largest gauge model railroad in the entire state. The lifelike terrain, miniature towns are all carefully constructed to look as real as possible. It's a fascination for both children and adults who come to enjoy the show. If you missed it this weekend, don't worry. There is still plenty of time to climb aboard next Saturday and Sunday. Very and now cool. it's up all day. Choo-choo enthusiasts can get an eye and an ear feel, earful <laughs> in, of the railroad in miniature. Terry Cox takes us for a ride next. But first, clouds were the story made from chopsticks and dirt from Auburn is plastered to styrofoam. Enter a world that is centered around the railroad. Terry Cox is here to take us to a modular railroad display, display that's attracted a thousand spectators this weekend. And you know what, Scott, it's nice because you don't have to be a railroad buff to want to see this display. I think evidence of that is in the number of people who visited the Big Four building in Old Sacramento today. It's truly a model display that can't be missed. <laughs> No, this isn't a scene out of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's a scene from a 104-foot modular railroad, produced by the Thunder Mountain Modular Railroad Club. It's complete with a logging yard, a downtown dentist, even a drive-in. And for every module, you can bet there's a story. Yeah, we all put, have a story that we like to tell about it, or we, you know, we have a town scene, that type of thing, and we like to put a little history to it. It, it helps make it look like the real thing. Even without the storytelling, every piece is so intricately done, it's convincing. And every time you look at it, you see something new. The 25 members of the Sacramento-based club are trying to hold on to locomotive history, even if the industry isn't. You see diesel engines are replacing steam. And slowly going are the days of the caboose. The rail fans are really sad to see it go. So anytime we see a caboose, we're ecstatic to see one run, because we feel that that's part of railroading. And the little boxes that they put on the end of the trains with a little red flashing light, to us, it's just not a railroad without a caboose. This hand-built trussle is a part of four modules modeled after Truckee. Each module required four to 5,000 hours of work. Technically, this ambitious project will never be done. There will always be another tree to plant, another tunnel to build. A promise from those who don't believe that out of sight means out of mind. Now, if you were going out of your mind because you missed this event, hold on. The show is free once again to the public next weekend, 10 to 5, in the building next door to the Railroad Museum. That was really amazing. Is this something they do just once a year they put on this show? Or? No, this is a lot of fun. This is their hobby, and it's kind of like a full-time job. And they have about 12 shows a year throughout Northern California and also in Reno. In fact, they're in the malls around Sacramento many times during the year. So I guess you when we come back, we'll show you a railroad that operates on a very small scale. Railroad in miniature, and sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you can get one under the Christmas tree. But there are those who never lose their love for small-scale railroading. Our Frank Simpson takes a look now at one tiny railroad on display in Old Sacramento. This is the Amtrak line that runs from Sacramento to Truckee. You know, the one along Highway 80 that darts in and out of the mountain tunnels above Donner Lake. It even runs near the Caltrans building and between the towering pines. Well, that's almost the case. This railroad is privately owned and operated, and although its track probably exceeds a thousand miles, the train always ends up right where it started. This is the Thunder Mountain Modular Railroad on display this weekend and next at the Railroad Museum. Club members take the pint-sized cars all over the West Coast and are quite proud of their work. This bridge is the latest addition, taking more than a thousand hours of labor to make it look real. All the other, other stuff is just ingenuity. The, um, the trees were all made from Chinese chopsticks, bamboo, turned down, painted, and, and the foliage put on. Uh, we use a combination of plaster and screen to form the mountains. Uh, rocks are made with bark, and we use a variety of, of materials to, to come up with the, the effect. When you view a model like this, it's very important to slow down, take your time, and pay attention to the detail. For instance, this little guy is sitting on the log down here. If you hurry, you're going to miss little scenarios like this one. Here's a little man sitting on a log. He's obviously got his pants down. At the other end of the log is his rifle and his backpack. And if you look closely, you can also see that there's a bear moving in. 
Another inventive attraction is this sawmill. Now keep in mind, this is in miniature. It's only about the size of a beer can, but the modular railroad is always growing. We're not done yet. We've got a lot more. Uh, it never stops. It always keeps going. In Sacramento, Frank Simpson, KOVR 13 News. By the way, the railroad display is open to the public this weekend and next weekend between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. at the old Sacramento Railroad Museum. It's something to see. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, that's our lot. Thank you. 